In this video, we will see how images can be normalized. So we have our q2.dcm file and to read this file, we will need the dicom read function which will read the file into a matrix of 432 by 432. We will name the matrix as img. So img is equal to dicom read q2.dcm. Now as we can see that the matrix has been created from the file. Now let us see if this image can be shown or displayed in the output matrix. So for that as we have discussed we have the function called image sc. Uh, remember that im show function will not work in this one so image sc bracket img and we use control plus enter to run and as you can see the image is now visible in the output folder now basically what is an image in the corners you can see that the value is darker and the value is zero whereas in the center points you can see the values are whiter so basically in the corners are zeros and the points in between they are somewhere between uh, zero and the highest value but what is the highest value in this case the image so we want to see the highest and the lowest so first we'll see the maximum value of the image we'll pass max of img and bracket and then we put a colon so that it checks all the values from end to end now again same thing we'll pass the min function then we write img bracket and then a colon this checks the minimum value in the entire image the third thing we do is mean of img and we pass all the values and press control enter as we can see in the output we see that the max value of the image is 862 that is the highest value the min value is 0 that is the minimum intensity or the minimum value of intensity of a pixel and the image uh, the mean value is 127 so basically we can see that the minimum value is 0 the maximum is 862 and this is what we target in a normalization we want to bring the value from 0, 0 and 862 to 0 to 1 so for that we will need mat to gray function so i will write i normal is equal to mat to gray in the brackets i will pass the img the matrix which i have read from the file and this will convert my image to a normalized image so as you can see in the output folder the matrix has been created now let us see the same criteria the max min and the mean values so i'll copy all the functions and i will replace img with my new image that is the i normal image so i'll input i normal in the max function then do the same thing in my min function and then the same thing in my mean function so now my functions are ready i will press control plus enter and see what is the output so as you can see the output being the highest value the max value in the new image is 1 min value being 0 and the mean is something 0 0.14 so as you can see the max values in my previous image were 862 so that has been reduced to 1 and the min value was 0 it has now been reduced to 0 that is it remains same so the, the scaling has been done and all the images have been uh, normalized my image has been normalized now let us see if there is any difference in the image we'll type again image sc and now we will pass the i normal image the i normal matrix we'll press control plus center and wait for the output as you can see the output has no difference that is the image in my previous case that is from 0 to 862 intensity value and now the normalized intensity values they appear both same so this is the first step towards any image processing normalization of image uh, we'll see you in the next video.